Hi, Mr. B here. Chemical kinetics refers to the rate or the speed of a chemical reaction. In this video, I will explain how to calculate the average rate of reaction as well as the instantaneous rate of a chemical reaction. The average rate of a chemical reaction may be calculated by dividing the change in concentration of the reactant or the change in concentration of the product over time. Consider the following example where reactant A forms product B. At T0, or at the beginning of the reaction, the concentration of A is one molar. And of course the concentration of B will be zero molar. After 20 seconds elapses, the concentration of A is now 0.54 molar. During this same time period, as A was consumed or disappears, B was being formed. In other words, the amount of A that was consumed represents the amount of B that was being formed. The rate of this chemical reaction may be calculated as follows, where the average rate is equal to the change in concentration of A divided by the change in time. In this case, a negative sign is used because A is disappearing. Or the average rate may be calculated by dividing the change in concentration of product B over the same time interval. In this case, no negative sign is written into the formula because B is being formed during the reaction. The average rate may now be calculated by subtracting the initial concentration of A from the final concentration of A and dividing by 20 seconds. This will give a negative 2.3 times 10 to the minus 2 molar per second. However, in the initial formula, there is a negative sign. So taking the negative of a negative will give a positive answer. In other words, the final rate of this reaction in terms of reactant A will be a positive 2.3 times 10 to the minus 2 molar per second. The average rate may also be calculated by observing the appearance of product B. In this example, after 20 seconds, the final concentration of product B was 0.46 molar. To calculate the rate, simply subtract the initial concentration, which was 0.0 molar, from the final concentration, which was 0.46 molar, and then dividing by 20 seconds. Since B is forming or being formed in this reaction, there is no negative sign in this formula. Therefore, in terms of the appearance of B, or in terms of the formation of product B, the rate of the reaction will be 2.3 times 10 to the minus 2 molar per second, which is identical to the rate of disappearance of reactant A. The average rate of a chemical reaction may be calculated by dividing the change in concentration of a reactant or the change in concentration of a product by the change in time. However, 
To know the rate of a reaction at a specific time requires a different technique. The rate of a chemical reaction at a specific point in time is known as the instantaneous rate. Consider the reaction between the hypothetical reactant A forming the hypothetical product B. As the reaction proceeds from 0 seconds to 800 seconds, the rate of the reaction is continually slowing down. Therefore, finding the rate at a specific point or time during the reaction could be quite difficult. Consider this example. Suppose I wanted to find the rate of this reaction at exactly 300 seconds. To calculate the instantaneous rate at 300 seconds, I've simply drawn a line tangent to the curve at that point in time. Now by calculating the slope of this line, I will know the instantaneous rate at 300 seconds. To calculate the slope of this line, I've chosen a time interval from 200 to 400 seconds. Since the slope of a line never changes, the time interval that is chosen is really unimportant. Now simply draw a line from the point of intersection at 400 seconds to the point of intersection at the y-axis. Also draw a line from the point of intersection of the line at 200 seconds to the point of intersection at the y-axis. This will give a final concentration, which is at 400 seconds, of 0.17 molar and an initial concentration which is at 200 seconds of 0.37 molar. This information may now be used to calculate the rate of the chemical reaction at exactly 300 seconds. Simply subtract the final concentration of A, which is 0.37 molar, from the initial concentration of A, which is 0.17 molar. This will give a negative 0.2 molar. Also, subtract the initial time, which is 200 seconds, from the final time, which is 400 seconds. This gives a difference of 200 seconds. Performing the calculation and adjusting for the negative sign in the formula, the final rate of the reaction will become 1.0 times 10 to the minus 3 molar per second. This technique may be used to calculate the instantaneous rate of the reaction at any point along this curve.